moms, welcome to Mommy Mafia. I'm Karen Hudson, the deputy editor, and today's episode is all about cute Halloween costumes. So we're here with Bianca, and this is the first costume up, and she's wearing a honey bee costume for Halloween. So this costume currently is trending right now. It's very popular amongst young little girls. I, I know that she's young, and I know that she, um, is, you know, going through different costume phases. What was the easiest part of costume shopping? Is that she knew what she wanted. Oh, she did? Yeah. And in terms of like fabric, that this is like good enough to wear outside, you yeah. know? For, for outside, no. I think it's more for like a little kid's party indoors for Halloween. Oh, that's good. So yeah, that's but I wouldn't go outside because the temperature is really cold out here. Mm -hmm. Was this costume economical? Yeah, I think so. I don't think they should be any more than $25. <laughs> So we have Janine and Jasmine, and I heard that she picked out this outfit herself. Well, actually, I asked her, I said, what do you want to be for Halloween? And she instantly said, I want to be Cinderella. And I said, well, why do you want to be Cinderella? She said, because I love the dress and I love blue. That's my favorite color. How easy was it to find this particular costume at the retailers? Oh, uh, well, actually, it was pretty easy. I dropped her off at school, mm -hmm. and I went to the Disney store. I knew exactly what she wanted, and here it is. Okay, because I know sometimes costume shopping, especially throughout the end of the, the Halloween yeah. season, as we're approaching, you know, costumes are very rare to find. Yeah. <laughs> and and when she goes trick-or-treating, are you is this an indoor outfit you find, or is it something that she can actually wear along, you know, outside with her friends? Well, actually, both, because at her school, she actually does a Halloween party indoors, mm -hmm. and after that, we take her to do trick-or-treating outdoors, so we just put like a little turtleneck underneath, or oh, a little white okay. shirt, some tights, mm -hmm. and we can do outdoor also. Do you feel like a princess? Yeah. So moms, guess what? If you don't wanna buy your own costume, I suggest making one. So today, guess what? We thought about the Rubik's Cube. We actually saw this online and we thought it might be a great idea to take a stab at it. We have Bianca modeling it. Right, Bianca? Yeah. Yes, yes, you can say it right. Let me tell her, yeah. Yeah. Say, I'm a Rubik's Cube. Oh, close good, enough. it's close enough. We'll tell you how we made this Rubik's Cube. It's rather simple. We took a, uh, just like a traditional moving box, if you have one at home, and we kind of collapsed the inside. We actually put those insides in, and I guess you're wondering how we got the color, right? That's all from construction paper. So what we did was we laid the color down. It's probably like six or seven sheets that filled the entire sides of the box. Oh, you're wondering how we got the size, right? You know, if you have like anything that's the size of these circles, maybe a small pot, you just put it on the box and you kind of like draw around it and you draw around the head, and then you use an X-Acto knife or scissors, and you just kind of cut right around the circle, and you poke it out. Hey. And then what you do is just you measure your arms just measure to make sure arms. that you can put it side by side. Show Bianca, her. flap your hands. Flap your hands this way. Show her, yay. Yay. And you know what's really cool with something like this? Because you're wondering how we got the actual black grid. We just use black masking tape. That's the trick. It's shiny enough so it brings it to life. And we just actually measured it equally for anyone who decides that they want to make something like this. When Halloween is over, I would use cardboard and actually cover the circles and use it as a toy box. A toy box. You could put your toys in here. Yes. So we want to thank Monica and Janine for bringing by Bianca and Jasmine today for our Mommy Mafia Halloween fashion show special. It's a great time for kids to look at different costumes to see where they want to wear. And it's also a great time to just kind of let them live out their fantasies, daydreams, because that's really what Halloween is all about. Be sure to follow Mommy Noir on Twitter and don't forget to like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Pinterest.